All right, so previously we talked about uh, using our alphas effectively. Uh, we use the number eight brush and we can change around you know, the alpha very easily. If you use the drag rectangle, which is already on our number eight brush, and then you, we just need to change our alpha. Okay, we just need to, uh, important to change our alpha. We can change to any alpha that we want and then we can create some very cool effects. So for example, this one is with uh, alpha 58, the default one. Then you, you create alpha like this. Then uh, you can choose uh, alpha 32, you can create a result like this. Look at the alpha and then look at our result. And then a different alpha creates different result. And as you can see, I'm comparing the focus shift also on this uh, PDF over here. So you can see that with a very harsh focus shift, minus 100, the uh, alpha is very clear, but it also makes the edge uh, more obvious. So in this case, probably it's okay. But uh, on other alphas, you may have a problem where you see the hard squarish edge of the alpha. So depending on how the alpha works, you may want to adjust your focus shift accordingly. And then if the alpha shift is too soft, it doesn't work very well as well. You can see it almost totally disappears. So somewhere in the middle is probably where you want to be. And then uh, as long as you know the two extreme, it will be useful for you to uh, make it apply to your own settings. So this is a good example. You can see the edge is becoming very, very harsh. Okay, this one. The edge is super harsh, so probably it will be a little bit hard to use unless you are putting it on a, maybe a toilet, a towel on the toilet or something on the floor. Okay, or if not, uh, you probably want to make it a little bit softer so that uh, it's not as uh, extreme on the edges. And then it's easier for you to apply on your own model. Okay, so quite a few examples for us to look at. So I will go to our cube and I show just a quick demo over here. Press Ctrl D a few times. Ctrl D because uh, currently my model is a subdivision model. So it doesn't matter, it's just for testing. I'll press number 8 on my keyboard. Number 8 is already on clay brush. You can also access a clay brush by pressing C. Then you can look for your own clay brush over here. Clay over here, you can also use this. But if you use your own clay brush, you need to change this to drag rectangle. Okay, so now my, my number 8 brush and this is a default rectangle brush is kind of the same okay i may mean, just make a duplicate of it and then uh, you can just go ahead to alpha and then change to any alpha that you want okay so for example maybe i'll use this alpha off my symmetry first by pressing x and then i'll just drag it out okay so this uh, default setting where the focus shift is at the middle is pretty good so let me just push it to an extreme to see how it looks you see when the alpha is at the end, extreme end the edge is very strong it so it depends on the focus shift to shift this thing so if I make a focus shift very soft, it's like this. Okay, so we'll go to another side. I'll just do another demo on another alpha. So this will be the very soft one. This will be the very hard one again. With a focus shift on the other side and then a focus shift on the middle. Okay, so this is the difference. So as you can tell, probably you want to adjust the focus shift to be a little bit softer such that at least the edge cannot be seen, you know. So if you were to apply this maybe on an alien's texture or something, you know, you can easily blend this seamlessly. Try to keep the scale the same. Uh, try to make it apply the same. You can smooth parts of this. You can use number two to polish this a little bit. Okay, so it's really limited to just your own creativity and how you were to use it, okay? So maybe just these two examples is kind of enough to illustrate my point, I think. Okay, uh, check out the PDF for more examples of different alphas and how it applies. All right, so uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.